know how I like it Leave the way it's up there and hide it Hey guys, welcome back to Pam's Got the Tea. Thank y'all for joining me again. Today we are here to tap into the energy of our fire sign. So don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell if this is your story. So let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, allow me to tap into the energy of my fire signs. So you might be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, um, or it might have it as a moon sign arising. So let's see, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's the overall energy for my fire signs? Some of you guys might feel like um, you're being taken for granted or like somebody is taking advantage of you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with my fire signs right now? Let's get y'all head space, see what y'all uh, got going on up there. So a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are thinking about standing on decision, I feel like, or standing on a frame of mind. So I feel like maybe a lot of you guys were indecisive in the past and maybe things um, were going really slow or the results, the desired results that you wanted may have been taking too long to come in. So I feel like you guys are trying to use better judgment now and stand on what you guys, you know, want to do. I definitely feel like you guys are thinking more about um, y'all finances and what will bring y'all quicker and larger amounts of money. I definitely see that um, a lot of y'all might feel like y'all haven't been focused on y'all finances lately, but y'all choosing to take y'all attention away from whatever y'all have been focusing on and focus more on y'all money. As well, y'all thinking about calling judgment on a few things clarify this judgment card holy spirit what are my fire signs thinking about calling judgment on a lot of y'all are thinking about calling judgment on things that are not working out um i feel like a lot of y'all have not been telling people a lot about what's been going on in your personal lives or a lot of y'all um probably lost y'all job and haven't told anybody some of y'all might just some of y'all might just have been investing y'all time money and energy into something or someone and it just hasn't been working out but i feel like you guys probably have put on the face as if it was but you guys are calling judgment y'all blowing a trumpet y'all putting the end to some shit um i definitely feel like y'all want to move more so towards um more so towards what's in y'all like best interest yeah, a lot of you guys have been in y'all head in regards to ending something. A lot of y'all, y'all tired of dealing with stuff that does not satisfy y'all. I'm here sexually, mentally, financially. So this could be a person. This could be a location. You might be working somewhere or living somewhere. And this could even be, you know, a situation ship, a relationship. Yeah, I feel like you guys more so like y'all rather end friendships, relationships, and ties with things that are holding your finances. And y'all want to move towards what y'all want to do. A lot of y'all probably have been doing things just because you feel like it's the right thing to do or because you felt obligated. But I feel like a lot of y'all are really getting into an obligation to y'all self. Um, so what are the issues for my, my I'm going to say air signs, my Fire signs. Some of y'all might be having issues with air signs right now. Yeah, a lot of you guys um haven't. A lot of you guys feel like y'all not getting what y'all deserve right now. Some of y'all went back to something. Something that I feel like a lot of y'all probably said y'all wouldn't go back to. And y'all ended up going back. And I feel like y'all ended up getting y'all heartbroken. So y'all were disappointed. Y'all really wanted something to work out. And it didn't work out the way y'all thought it would. What's this Ace of Cups in reverse? What's this Ace of Cups in reverse? Emperor. Some of y'all have somebody in y'all life that just hasn't stepped up. Some of y'all might even be upset that the person that y'all love or that y'all really want to be with 
that was 444 alignment y'all might be seeing 444 some of y'all might be upset too that the person that y'all want to be with has not come forward with an offer so y'all might be expecting communication from somebody y'all might be seeing a lot of signs thinking about somebody very often or even seeing like stuff that reminds you of them and they haven't come forward yet what is this three of swords what's this three of swords yeah I feel like this um this heartbreak, the disappointment is just really coming from I'm just here like all you can give me is dissatisfaction. So whatever you being presented with right now, y'all don't want it. Like y'all not happy, y'all not satisfied. I feel like y'all narrowed y'all choices down too. Y'all had two y'all probably had three options at first between whether it's jobs, people, or just locations. And y'all narrowed it down to two. And I feel like, one of the, one, okay, y'all had two, two main options. One of your options, I feel like it was more so, if it's relationship based, one of the options was more so sex based. So a lot of you guys probably were thinking with, you know, your hormones. The other one is like you can have the world with this option. But I feel like y'all chose. Y'all chose the one that, yeah. Y'all feel like y'all made the wrong choice. And as a result, y'all been in y'all hair really heavy. Yeah, y'all like I used to be happy. I want to go back to that, that place in my life. A lot of y'all feel like y'all made the wrong decision to settle down with the wrong person. And I feel like y'all really want to go towards somebody. Or y'all want somebody to come towards y'all. Oh, give me on. Oh, oh. Oh. I'm thinking about the way it used to be. But I can't make a scene. Uh, some of y'all, y'all realize y'all got it bad for somebody. Y'all chose somebody, I feel like, trying to move on. Some of y'all chose um, a path just to move on from somebody. I feel like that y'all really had feelings for. <clears throat> some of y'all might want to go towards an earth sign so this is virgo towards capricorn some of y'all just realizing that like y'all tried to act like y'all didn't want a particular person but y'all realize that y'all do what is this ace of swords y'all realize y'all know who make y'all happy y'all just aren't in communication with this person y'all thinking about rushing them i feel like some of y'all want to go towards this person like so what the fuck you been in like damn you don't miss me like you ain't gonna contact me y'all want to hold on to this yeah, a lot of y'all are thinking about going back. Y'all want to go back to something. Y'all can't get this situation off y'all mind. This place, this thing, it's just something y'all can't get off y'all mind. Y'all want to go another, y'all want another round? Y'all want to go another round? But I feel like a lot of y'all pride is in a way. Y'all don't want to make a scene. Y'all don't. Y'all don't want, I don't, I'm here too. Y'all don't want to be here and I told you so. so y'all don't want people to be looking at y'all crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of y'all, if the, whoever y'all want to go towards, y'all feel like y'all not gonna have support in that. Some of y'all, y'all trying not to think about this person because maybe this individual left you when you were down, or maybe you left this individual when they were down. Somebody probably need to get themselves together. Some of y'all too, the option that would really make y'all happy, some of y'all didn't even consider it initially. I feel like. Y'all looked at this individual like, I'm here like I'm too good for them. Or maybe this is how this person looked at you. And I feel like it was very obvious. But y'all like, man. Some of y'all, the person y'all want to be with, y'all can't. Y'all can't. Some of y'all might even be into relationships because like, I'm here the love is gone. It's like some of y'all want to be in this relationship still, but the other person doesn't. 
and I feel like it's bad karma. Some of y'all might have did stuff and brought this on y'all self. So it's like no moving forward with that. What's coming in my fire signs? Don't see coming, Holy Spirit. Ooh. What's coming in my fire signs? Don't see coming. Some of y'all gonna have a rude awakening. It's over. What's this justice in reverse? Yeah. Some of y'all have a Libra Aquarius Gemini coming towards y'all. Man, what the fuck? What's this five of wands? Some of y'all, if y'all are dealing with an air sign, I feel like this air sign is going to end up separating themselves from you. Just due to a lot of conflict. It's probably a lot of some of y'all dealing with somebody and y'all might feel like this person acts really detached to you and i feel like this person probably is going to end up detaching themselves from you whoever y'all dealing with this person is going to let y'all know that they don't like the way y'all communicate and that they rather just focus on their money what's this tower card just give me vibe please. it's the person that y'all probably was making an option or whoever was making y'all an option yeah some of y'all was taking too long to really get somebody commitment this person gonna end up walking away from y'all and when y'all and when they do some of y'all y'all if y'all dealing with an air sign this person is gonna go back to another air sign libra Chris, gemini some of y'all when this person start acting some of y'all like it's crazy y'all gonna be it's gonna be like toxic as hell some of y'all gonna be trying to act like see y'all already got somebody that left y'all or y'all already left somebody some of y'all gonna be trying to act like it doesn't bother y'all when this person separates from y'all. And y'all gonna try to keep y'all self busy, but it's gonna be hard for y'all to manifest because I feel like some of y'all gonna be walking, some of y'all walking away from a good investment. What is this chariot? Yep. For some of y'all, for some of my fire signs, once y'all walk away from whoever is detached from you, I feel like whoever y'all were dealing with, it got to a point where, like I said, y'all might have went the relationship and y'all person didn't. So now it's going to get to the point where your person is just real detached. And I feel like it's going to make y'all toxic. But when y'all walk away from this person, for some of y'all, when y'all walk away from this person, y'all going to have somebody that comes in and show y'all the love that y'all been that y'all been wanting y'all probably like i said gonna reject it or y'all gonna y'all not gonna give the offer that y'all need to but this is actually gonna be the person that sticks something new y'all not even gonna want to give this person the offer because y'all gonna be so much in y'all head about what y'all feel like y'all lost and y'all gonna be defensive but yeah and if y'all try to go back to that old thing you'll realize it's not it's not gonna work it's going to be little to no effort. And you're going to end up trying to get back in a relationship where it's not going to be any love there. Yeah. Some of y'all need to stop weighing y'all options in love and just go with the flow. Um, let's see. What is the advice for my fire signs? What I tell myself I am, I am. Until today, you may have not realized that you have the power to reshape and redefine any experience, no matter how devastating it seems. But just for today, look at your experiences and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how to use them for the good. Some of y'all, like I said, y'all are going to be just really down with the fact that something didn't work out. But y'all get to make the best out of situations. Um, ask God how to show y'all how to turn that, you know, frown upside down, how to make the best out of y'all situation. Some of y'all need to just know that, you know, you are not your mistakes. What didn't work out in the last situation doesn't have to be, you know, this future situation. You can make what you want to make happen, happen. Look up angel number 1616. 16. I choose to release all negativity from my life. Until today, you may have been holding on to people and situations that have caused you pain. 
But just for today, make a new choice. Choose to move beyond the things and people who haven't honored the truth of who you are. Some of y'all need to stop trying to hold on to whatever it is that's hurting y'all and let it go. Man, I may be blocking myself from receiving more than I'm holding on to. I told y'all, y'all not going to be in the energy of seeing what y'all have before y'all eyes. And I hope y'all don't lose a good thing focusing on something in the past. Until today, you may have been holding on to things for fear that they will not be replaced in your life. But just for today, imagine what your life would be like if you were to receive something better than what you're holding on to. Instead of worrying about, you know, man, some of y'all, y'all are really trying to hold on and it's just not working. And y'all blocking blessings. I live my life as freely as I choose. Until today, you may have been living your life under the impression that everyone is watching you. But just for today, live life like nobody else in the world is watching or cares what you're doing. Some of y'all, I see what it is. Some of y'all, y'all really hoping that y'all get back with this old person. So a lot of y'all are watching what y'all do, what y'all post, how y'all move, who y'all deal with, and how deep y'all get into new situations. Because y'all feel like y'all person is watching y'all and is going to come back. Y'all got to start living like, you feel me, like, tomorrow ain't promise. They out here dropping indestructible fucking mosquitoes and different strands of COVID and shit like the meat fucking walking off tables tomorrow is not promised so do what makes you happy and let go of what does not make you happy let's get a moon card for y'all what do my Leo's Aries and Sagittarius need to focus on eh. some of y'all been drinking a lot too to control y'all emotions and y'all feelings Moon and Aquarius, some of y'all might be dealing with, like I said, air signs, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The time is ripe for celebrating life. Make the most of parties, gatherings, and other social opportunities. Y'all need to go out and have some fun, you know. Enjoy yourself, mingle, meet new people, party a little bit. The hair, it's an auspicious time for new beginnings. Some of y'all, some of y'all, like I said, let go of the old and get ready for new beginnings. I understand like things happen, but look forward to bright new beginnings because they're coming. The frog. The path has been clear for you to make a change that previously seemed unachievable. God is really making a way for y'all to do something new, but I feel like y'all are blocking y'all selves. Make time to focus on your own spiritual well-being and connect to the metaphysical world around you, the cat. Some of y'all need to sharpen y'all senses. Some of y'all might have cats. Some of y'all might want to get one or need to get one. But y'all need to spend more time focusing on your spiritual well-being, prayer, your body, what the universe is saying to you. Yeah, so just look forward to brighter things. You know, I hope things get better. I hope you guys make the right choice. I hope you guys see what you have in front of your eyes before it slips away. You know, I wish you guys healing. I wish you guys blessings. And thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and hit that bell if this is your story.